Oh, my God. Meryl, you're my informant in the U.S. military. And... Yeah? You must be the inspector sent by the U.N. The inspector. Akiba! Akiba. Commander. Ooh! That is dirty. Sorry. This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID. One of the bodies investigating PMC. They're activity. posing and shit. Yeah, get in there. Pose it up. Rats. Here. You can have this back. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, he growls at you. And his stomach starts grumbling. What is your problem? You okay? He got the boo boos. Stomach pains. Yep, that reminds that's the guy that was taking diarrhea. the shit and his ass was out earlier. He got diarrhea. These motherfucking cutscenes is no joke. That dude is napping. The other dude is rocking, cleaning his it's gun. Been four days since Liquid She's buff. Occupy's probably somewhere taking a been. crap. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. Yep, Naomi. Damn, Snake, your vision sucks. I would have been like, get your, yeah, get your fucking hand off me, ho. You, you left me, I'm mad at you. Why you make me so mad? So, yep, that's what, that's how Snake's so conscious is. He's all like, so, what? this is that's Snake. Something. He's all tough, and but in his head he's like, Here, don't to touch me, team. bitch, you make that's me Ed, mad. So, so mad. Sniper. You make me angry. That's Ed, the black guy. The sleeping giant is Jonathan. Jonathan, with the Zunt Mohawk. Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. Like a fruit. Finally, his wife probably cheated on him. And finally, the poop man himself. Poopenstein. Crapperella. Commander. I finished installing the sensors. Poo poo. Mr. Poopalo. We're gonna call him Poopiba. Okay, Akiba. Poop. Poopy. Poop. poop. He loves anyway. poop. You're all grown up. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain she sure did all grow up. She's fucking buff. Suddenly disappeared. Oh, so Snake suddenly you disappeared. Oh, okay. Me? Oh, I'm so sorry. I, 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 I quit on you. you. I'm sorry. Why are you so or damn I'm buff, awesome. Meryl? You so damn buff. I'm just you to so buff. Me. Way too buff, way too buff. Why are you, you so buff, way too buff? And see who I was. She got a buff song. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. Uh-oh. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. A retired vet? That dude is old. I know he's plotting an insurrection. <laughs> Erection. As long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's State Army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nanomachines injected into their bodies for that purpose. 
nano machines. The nano machines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. Damn. This data That's a is lot to take in, isn't it? To enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines and you too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, the same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee. That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep mm. these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. Damn. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they managed to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. Damn, why does Snake keep bringing up the Patriots? What are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway. Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His oh, damn, these the fucking cutscenes are no numbers, joke. Their soldiers this bitch is long. Being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsok heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots. Cutscene, cutscene, cut, cut, cutscene. Why are you so long? You are so long. Yes, you are long. You is long. long. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover, inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. When we reported that she is still talking. Superiors ordered us to provide the UN 